Thank you very much. It's a great honor to have President Moon of South Korea with us, and a very, very great privilege to have Mrs. Kim. Thank you very much, very much. We hope you enjoy your stay. We are discussing many, many important things, including, obviously, uh, North Korea, the relationships with North Korea. Uh, I had, in many respects, a very good meeting. We did not fulfill what we wanted to, but in many ways, we — certain things were agreed to. Uh, my relationship is very good with, as you know, Chairman Kim, and I think that uh, it will go on that way. We'll see. We'll probably know, but we'll be discussing that. We'll be discussing trade, uh, military, military purchases. South Korea buys a great deal of equipment from us, especially military equipment. Please, go ahead. 그 문대통령을 오늘 백악관에 환영하게 되어서 매우 그 영광을 생각합니다. 또 특히 어, 김 여사님을 백악관에 환영하게 된 것은 아주 상당히 그 영광으로 생각합니다. 오늘 우리는 여러 가지 다양한 중요한 문제를 논의할 것입니다. 물론 그 북한과의 관계에 대해서 논의할 것입니다. 어, 그 우리가 지금까지는 북한과의 아주 좋은 그 회의를 가졌지만 원하는 목적을 달성하지는 못했습니다. 하지만 여러 문제에 있어서 서로 합의에 이른 것이 사실입니다. 우리는 그 김정은 위원장과 좋은 관계를 가지고 있습니다. 물론 앞으로 어떻게 진행이 될지는 두고 봐야 되겠습니다. 한국과 또 여러 가지 무역이라든지 군산 문제에 있어서 어, 우리는 여러 가지를 논의하게 될 것입니다. 한국은 여러 장비, 특히 군사 장비 등등을 미국에서 많이 구매를 하고 있습니다. We've just recently completed a new and very, very large trade deal with South Korea, and it's just now going into effect, and it will very much increase trade both ways between our two countries. It's a very important transaction and something we've been working on for quite a while. I know that for years they've been working on trying to redo it, and we have a new deal, and it's been, I think, very, very good for both our countries. Big difference. 우리는 최근에 그 한국과 미국 간의 상당히 중요한 무역 거래를 또 타, 타결을 하였습니다. 그리고 지금 곧 효력이 발생할 예정입니다. 이그 협정은 양국의 무역을 저, 증진하게 될 것이고 아주 상당히 중요한 거래입니다. 이그 협상에 대해서 오랫동안 우리가 재개하게 그 합의를 타결을 했습니다만은 이 이번 타결로 인해서 양국 모두에게 상당한 이익이 올 것으로 생각이 됩니다. President Moon and South Korea have agreed to purchase a tremendous amount of our military equipment, uh, from jet fighters to missiles to lots of other things. And uh, we make the finest equipment in the world by far, and we appreciate the purchase. It's a very large purchase, and uh, we always appreciate that. I think I can say that our relationship has never been better. Our relationship is on a personal basis, very, very close. Uh, First ladies, likewise, extremely close. And I think that uh, that will continue for a long time into the future, forever. 우리 두 사람의 그 관계도 상당히 좋습니다. 우리 양국의 관계도 물론 좋습니다만은 그 어느 때보다도 한미 양국의 관계는 지금 더욱 더 아주 긴밀합니다. 개인적으로도 우리가 긴밀한 관계를 가지고 있지만 두 영부인들도 상당히 아주 가까운 그런 관계를 가지고 있습니다. 이 좋은 관계는 우리 양국 간에 또 우리 개인들 간에 앞으로 영원할 것입니다. So we'll be having individual meetings uh, later on and all throughout the day with different people from different departments and representatives. Uh, the President and myself will be meeting right now in the Oval Office. Then we'll meet with our groups uh, in the Cabinet Room, as you know. And I think it'll be very productive. It's going to be a very productive day. Uh, I just uh, do want to tell you that great progress has been made and a great relationship has been made in North Korea, too. Uh, Kim Jong-un has been uh, really somebody that I've gotten to know very well and respect. And hopefully, and I really believe, that 
over a period of time. A lot of tremendous things will happen. I think North Korea has a tremendous potential, and I believe that President Moon agrees with that, and uh, we will be discussing that and even uh, potential meetings, further meetings with North Korea and Kim Jong-un. So uh, I want to extend my warmest wishes to the people of South Korea, and I think indirectly I can truly say I want to set, extend my warmest wishes to Kim Jong-un and the people of North Korea. Uh, I think the relationship has become far different and far better than it was when I first took office, or at the end, certainly, of the Obama administration. And it's a great honor to be with you, Mr. President, and thank you very much. Mr. President, I would like to thank you for inviting our couple uh, to the White House and also warmly welcoming us. Uh, in particular, uh, last night at the Blue House, uh, I saw the, the flowers, the beautiful flowers that you had sent uh, with a personally signed card. Uh, I, I was really moved by your uh, meticulous care, and especially my wife was moved. In particular, I have uh, two accounts on which I li I'd like to express my gratitude to the United States. Uh, first, there is a, uh, recently there was a big forest fire uh, in, in Korea in the province of uh, Gangwon. At the time, uh, the USFK uh, supported us uh, through uh, the provision of uh, many helicopters, and um, this really helped us uh, put out the fire, and uh, lots of Korean people uh, were very grateful for this. Thank you. The uh, second thing is, today, the first time of the United States was created, the first time of the United States was created, it was a great honor for us. The United States, the United States, and the United States, 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 and today is a meaningful day for all the Korean people uh, because it marks the centenary anniversary of the establishment of the provisional government of Korea. And I heard that uh, both at the Senate and, and, and at the House, uh, they introduced a resolution uh, celebrating uh, this uh, momentous day. So I'd like to thank you for that also. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 
군사적 긴장이 아주 팽배했고 어, 그것이 언제 터질지 모르는 어, 일촉즉발의 에, 그 위기 상황에 있었는데 에, 트럼프 대통령께서 어, 김정은 위원장과 직접 만나신 이후에 에, 한반도의 군사적 긴장은 대폭 완화되고 아주 평화로운 어, 그런 분위기가 감돌게 되었습니다. 그리고 북한의 어, 핵 문제조차도 어, 트럼프 대통령께서 대화로서 어, 반드시 해결해낼 것이라는 믿음을 우리 한국 국민들은 어, 가지고 있습니다. 이 한반도 정세의 극적인 변화, 변화는 전적으로 어, 우리 트럼프 대통령의 아주 강력한 또 탁월한 어, 리더십 덕분이라고 믿습니다. 감사드립니다. And uh, after uh, you had met Chairman Kim in Singapore on June 12th uh, last year, we have witnessed a dramatic turnaround uh, regarding the political situation on the Korean Peninsula. Uh, previously, because uh, of uh, the repeated nuclear and missile tests uh, from North Korea, uh, the, uh, we, uh, we saw that the military tension at the time has, uh, had been uh, at its uh, greatest, and we were in a very precarious situation. However, uh, since uh, you met uh, Chairman Kim and you initiated uh, personal diplomacy with him, uh, we saw the dramatic, uh, significant reduction of military tension on the Korean Peninsula, and now peace has uh, prevailed. And also in terms of North Korean nuclear problem, uh, uh, all the Korean people have now, uh, uh, now we believe that you will be able uh, to solve this problem through a dialogue. So I have to say that uh, this dramatic turnaround that we have witnessed is solely uh, down to your, your strong leadership. Thank you very much. 그렇게 생각한다면 지난번 제 2차 하노이 어, 이게 북미 정상 회담도 결코 실망한 일이 아니라 더큰 합의로 나아가기 위한 그런 과정이라고 생각합니다. Well, in this sense, I believe that uh, the Hanoi summit is not actually was not a source of disappointment, but it is actually the part of a big, bigger process that will lead us to a bigger agreement. 그래서 이제 에, 그 중요한 것은 어, 대화의 모멘텀을 계속 유지시켜 나가고 또 가까운 시일 내에 제 3차 국내 회담이 열릴 수 있으리라는 그런 전망을 어, 세계 심을 주는 것이 중요하다고 생각합니다. Uh, so the important task that we uh, face right now is to maintain the momentum of dialogue and uh, also express uh, the uh, the positive uh, outlook regarding the third uh, US North Korea summit. Uh, to the international community that this will be held in the near future. 예, 그 점에 대해서 어, 트럼프 대통령께서 어, 계속해서 김정은 위원장에게 신뢰를 표명해 주시고 어, 이렇게 북한이 대화의 제도에서 이탈하지 않도록 이렇게 잘 관리해 주신 데 대해서 어, 아주 높이 평가하며 어, 감사 말씀 드리고 싶습니다. Uh, so in this regard, uh, I'd like to express my high regard for how uh, you have continued to express your trust towards Chairman Kim, and also uh, you have made sure uh, that North Korea does not deviate from the dialogue track. I'd like to uh, express my gratitude for this. Uh, 한국은 미국과 함께 uh, 북한의 완전한 비핵화의 최종적인 상태, 그 비핵화의 목표에 대해서 완벽하게 동일한 uh, 생각을 가지고 있고, 그 다음에 또 어, 비실 틈 없는 그런 공조로 어, 완전히 문제가 끝날 때까지 공조해 나갈 것이라는 것을 어, 약속드리겠습니다. And uh, let me reiterate that uh, the Republic of Korea is very absolutely on the same page when it comes to the end state of the complete denuclearization of North Korea. And I, I can reassure you uh, that we will uh, remain in, uh, in uh, such great collaboration with the United States. There will be no daylight until we achieve our uh, ultimate goal. Thank you very much. I, I have to go uh, just one step further, and I want to thank China, who's really helped us a lot at the border. I also want to thank Russia, because they have helped us, and they've helped us quite a bit more than people think at the border. So both China and Russia have really been uh, quite good. That doesn't mean they can't get better, but they've been quite good at the border, and I just want to thank both of those countries. Uh, as we've said, a lot of progress has been made. Uh, we will have further dialogue, and I look forward to it. Uh, my relationship with Kim Jong-un has been uh, a very strong relationship. I've had some very strong relationships with others, but I have a very, very good relationship with Kim Jong-un, and I think you see that. And we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully, it'll 
end up in a great solution for everybody and ultimately a great solution for the world. Because it is about the world. It's more than just this area. It's about the world. And uh, frankly, the world is watching. I want to thank you for your leadership. Uh, your leadership has been outstanding. And uh, I look forward to talking about other things also. And in particular, all of that equipment that you're buying. We like that in the United States. We like that you buy our great equipment. So, again, thank you very much. And thank you for your leadership. Thank you. Russia도,大家想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想想
the best they've ever been. We have more people working right now in the United States than we've ever had before, almost 160 million people. And likewise, South Korea is doing very well. Their economy is doing very well. And I think our trade deal has helped that process. So uh, we're sitting on uh, two great countries right now, and we're leading two great countries. And uh, we think that I can speak for myself, and I think I can speak for President Moon. We think that North Korea has tremendous potential and really potential under the leadership of Kim Jong-un. Let's see how it all works out. Mr. President, have you communicated with Kim Jong-un in the last few weeks since you told us? I don't want to comment on that, but we have a very good relationship. No, I'm not concerned about anything because, frankly, there was no collusion and there was no obstruction. And we never did anything wrong. The people that did something wrong were the other side. The dirty cops and a lot of the problems that were caused. It's a disgrace what happened. And again, it should never happen to a president again. You're just lucky I happen to be the president, because a lot of other presidents would have reacted much differently than I reacted. You're very lucky I was the president during the scam, during the uh, Russian hoax, as I call it. So, no, I'm not concerned at all. Uh, the bottom line, the result is no collusion, no obstruction. And that's the way it is. And I know a lot of people were very disappointed, but they knew the real answer. You know, when the Democrats go behind the scenes and they go into a room backstage and they sit and they talk, they laugh because they know it's all a big scam, a big ho hoax. And uh, it's called politics, but this is dirty politics and this is actually treason. It's a very bad thing that people have done. And I just hope that law enforcement uh, takes it up. Because if they don't take it up, they're doing a great disservice to our country. Yes, go ahead, please. No, we're talking about long term, and we always talk about long term. We want to have long term. Our relationship with South Korea is extraordinary, and we only think in terms of long term with South Korea. Okay? Mr. President, yes, sir. Go ahead. Will you discuss about wisdom of Kaesong Industrial Complex and Mount Gungan Explain that to me, please. What? How much do you support President, my president's push for economic concessions, uh, which includes uh, the resumption of the joint inter-Korean industrial complex and perhaps even the... Uh, well, uh, at the right country. time, I would have great support. This isn't the right time. But at the right time, I'd have great support with North Korea. Great support. I think that uh, South Korea, and I think Japan, and I think that the U.S., I think a lot of countries will be helping. China, I really believe, will help. I think that Russia will help. I think a lot of countries will help. When the right deal is made and when the nuclear weapons are gone, I just think that North Korea has potential as great as anything I've ever seen in terms of potential. They have an unbelievable location, surrounded by sea on two sides, and on the other side, Russia, China, and over here, South Korea. You just can't do better than that. And they have magnificent land. It has tremendous potential. Uh, so the question was, uh, if uh, North Korea actually submits a, a roadmap regarding complete denuclearization, uh, are you two, uh, the two presidents, will you be uh, uh, discussing this issue at the summit meeting today? Yes, we will. We will be discussing it. Certainly, that's a very prime topic for our meeting today, and we hope that's going to happen. Yes. Is your position still that sanctions should stay in place on North Korea until there is denuclearization, or are you willing to consider easing sanctions to keep the talks going? You no, know, we want sanctions to remain in place. And frankly, I had the option of significantly increasing them. I didn't want to do that because of my relationship with Kim Jong-un. I did not want to do that. I didn't think it was necessary. As you know, a couple of weeks ago, I held it back. But I think that sanctions are uh, right now at a level that's a fair level. And I, I really believe something very significant is going to happen. We could always increase them, but I didn't want to do that at this time.
Mr. President, would you accept a smaller deal to keep the process going, as President Moon called it? I'd have to see what the deal is. There are various smaller deals that maybe could happen. Things could happen. You can work out step-by-step -step pieces. But uh, at this moment, we're talking about the big deal. The big deal is we have to get rid of the nuclear weapons. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, there are 15 players capable of winning, and I guess you could say there are a lot more than that. They're great players. I don't think a field for the Masters has ever been this deep. I was watching uh, late last night, and they were going over the different players. I think the field has never been so deep. But always Phil and Tiger and Dustin. And we, I mean, you have so many great players. But they were just saying, uh, they're younger, they're stronger. They've never hit the ball this long. They've never hit the ball this accurately. They've never putted better than they do now. You know, the whole thing is pretty incredible. But the field is very, very deep. I think it's going to be a great Masters. I hope so. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.